Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. It's a beautiful day here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, and it's a little bit on the cloudy side. So today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about using old hay. You can see grass growing on the top of this hay bale. That's important. So come along today, we're gonna to talk about using old hay to build your land. And I kind of led into this video, if you look out on this hillside up here, you'll see a lot of hay bales rolled out. We're gonna talk a little bit about it. We're gonna talk about what I've done and we're gonna show you the results that I did from a couple years back. So come along today as we teach you a little bit about scoring a good deal, on some old hay and using it to build your soil on your farm. All right? Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. All right guys, if this is your first time to the Stony Ridge Farm, welcome to the farm, welcome to the YouTube channel. Please pound that like button, jump in here and subscribe if you wanna learn, if you wanna enjoy the farm life with me, if you just enjoy seeing pretty scenery, jump in here, subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. So what we have behind us right here is hay, old hay. What I did, I went on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and went all over and I went looking for inexpensive hay that someone would deliver right here to our farm. So we're able to get round bales of hay and this is some spring cut, some fall cut hay. So it's got grass seed in it and it's got carbon in it and it's got feed in it. So we have nine cows over here in this pasture and we're rolling the hay out for the cows to eat. I'm letting the hay sit up on the top of the hill until it's time for the cows to go up there and they'll eat it and they'll butt it and next thing you know, the hay rolls down the hill. What we're talking about today is building soil. So the whole goal with this spreading manure, uh, green manure as in hay, rolling hay out, or just mowing our land and feeding that back to the land and stimulating that grass growth. So there's a whole lot of thought that needs to go into growing new pastures, I guess. New pastures, new lawn. This could apply to a place that's a third of an acre or it can apply to a place that's a thousand acres. You're always gonna have problem spots. And the best thing to do is to help your soil grow and build soil, get those earthworms back, and we're using carbonaceous material like hay and manure to grow our grass. So come along, we're gonna go up on the top of the hill here. We're gonna talk a little bit about the bare areas and we're gonna show you some technology. So we're gonna show you the technology we're using on the computer that satellite maps out the problem spots on our farm. It's really, really cool. I think you'll enjoy that part. And then we're gonna go over and I'll show you where we rolled out hay about two years ago. And you can just see green stripes, just a green stripe down through the pasture. And slowly that green stripe will go away and it'll work its way into the land but this is the way, this is how you build your soils. Instead of buying a bag of chemical fertilizer and dumping it on the land and it watching it just go away, we're putting something here that's permanent. We're putting carbon back in the soil. Let's go up top. So we're looking at $150 worth of hay bales on a piece of land that is scrubby. So this is the worst spot currently on the farm and it's washed and you can see there is a little gully right there and up here by this hay bale it's just red dirt what we're doing again is mapping this out online seeing the problem areas and rolling out carbon on here now we set these hay bales out in the worst possible places to slow water down and to help water absorb into the land so what the entire goal of building carbonaceous material on your soil is, is to retain moisture so that you don't get that. Gullies, gullies that wash out. This hay bale is positioned where it is for a reason. The cows will come over here, they'll start eating it, they'll butt it, it'll roll right down through that gully, fill it in, slow the water down, and no more gully. That's what it's all about. Controlling erosion, no more gully, and building this dirt into soil. So do you need livestock to do this? No, you don't need livestock to do this. If you're trying to build your soil and build your land and build your yard, you can still get hay or straw or whatever. I like hay. You know why I like hay? This was cut out of a pasture. It probably used to be a pasture. It's loaded with grass seed. It's local. It's loaded with local grass seed. It might have a little bit of weed seed in it, but that's okay. There may be some weeds that come up. That's okay. We're trying to build 
carbonaceous material on the soil. And that is a big bag of fertilizer, a big bag of manure, and a big bag of grass seeds. So that's what it's all about, guys. Let's go over and we'll take a look at the computer setup and we'll show you guys the aerial shot here. I'm gonna fly the drone over and get you some cool footage there. And then we're gonna go right over the hill here and I'll show you where we rolled out some other hay. All right, guys, so we've got some pretty cool stuff going on right here. This is our farm right here. So starting right here, you can see the little mouse right there. And this is the field that we're looking at and we're looking at this area. So we're going to our big field over here and this is EOS crop monitoring. You can check it out at EOS.com and I'll post a link down in the video description for you. So if you see, this is our big field and here's our problem area and you're getting ready to see the colors change. So red means it doesn't have a lot of foliage. So see right here, that's our problem area. We also have a problem area right there. This is the pond right here, so there's obviously no foliage right there. This is kind of the fence line or the line of the woods that was right here. And you can see there's still some sparse areas. And this is an area we'll be working up very soon in the video. We've got a cedar coming to work that up, and we're going to be drilling down seed there. And this is an area we're also going to be working up. So you can see the luscious green spots, and we'll get a good aerial view of this. But I wanted to show you, again, this is EOS crop monitoring, and you can see this is April 18th. Well, if we go back to, say, December 30th, you're going to see a lot of red because the foliage isn't growing quite as much, okay? So check this out. That time of year, the foliage isn't growing that much, but you can see what gets lighter and lighter. So we'll go to, like, March 29th right here. Really cool technology, guys. I've never seen anything like this until... Uh, I got online and found EOS crop monitoring. So you can see we're starting to get some green, some growth. And you can go back year after year and check your crops and check. So we're, we're growing pasture here. So our crop is pasture or hay. And you can see how good it looks right there. It looks very good. Now, down here, down below, you can see the root zone moisture and the surface moisture. You can see all this information on these charts right here. It's really, really cool. We can go down. And we can also select temperature, precipitation, cold stress. So this is really cool, the precipitation. You can see when we've had huge rainstorms right there. Boom, look at that. Precipitation, 9.6 inches that day. Unbelievable. So you can go back and see when you had those really heavy rainstorms all through this chart right here. So much information that you can uh, really look at. You can see the heat stress like July, August. There's just so much right here. And then also we had a little heat stress in uh, in March right here, it looks like. 86.7. Yeah, we got almost to 90 degrees that day, so you can see that too. So much information in here that you can look at. You can select what crop you've planted. You can look back year after year, day after day, and see what's going on. You get a weather report of today, and... It's just a really cool uh, little piece of information that you can use. Now we'll get the drone and we'll fly over this area. And then we're going to kind of zip across the field. And this is a spot where I rolled out hay. And we'll kind of look over here at this area and this area. Now you can see there's the hay bales at the bottom of the screen there. Cows up here munching away. And you can see the red dirt. So if you don't have a drone, you don't want to spend 1200 bucks for a drone, you can check out the EOS crop monitoring. And you can find the trouble spots in your field without flying over with the drone. The drone's a really, really handy piece of equipment for the farm, especially if we're looking for a cow or something like that. So if you're cruising over the field, we're going to go right over the center area. And you can see where there's some old terraces were in the field uh, directly at the top of the screen and you can see some problem areas right there to the right center of the screen you can also see right in the middle of the screen where the fence line is there's a stretch of green right through there and that's where we're going to go next uh, we'll show you that from the ground it looks a lot better from the ground than it does from the sky but you can also see some more problem areas that we have and you could see those on the uh, EOS crop monitoring software also so we'll cruise on over here and to the right is an area that we just had cleared last year and we're going to be seeding that pretty soon too. I'm waiting on my seeder to get here so that we can get to drilling. We'll drill down seeds. So please jump in, subscribe to the channel. You're going to have some fun here. We'll teach you some awesome stuff on building pasture. Every bit of this green that you see was all bare land three years ago.
pretty cool. Oh guys, I hope you enjoyed that drone footage. So we're over here and I have an audience now. <laughs> I've got an audience full of awesome cows. We're gonna be hanging out with the cows for a minute, but um, if you look out through the field here, you can see green specks, green spots all over the place. I hope you enjoyed that drone footage, by the way, and that little flyover, and you can kind of see the area that we're talking about now. So if you look, you see green, that's green. There's like a green stripe going straight down through there. It's not as green here and it's not as green. Well, it's way green over there because the cows haven't been in there. But this was a gully. This was a mess and we rolled out hay on it and it started out just like up here. Let me show you. Um, the cows are really helping us restore our pasture land here. And all this was pushed off. This was all bare dirt three and a half years ago. So this is what it looked like before and then I can still see some residual hay. If you look straight out through there, it's just beautiful, luscious, and green. I tell you what, building soil is something that I really pride myself in. We want our earthworms back. We want our microbes back. We want to build our soil so that our animals build muscle, so that we can enjoy life with our animals here on the farm and everything has a symbiotic relationship. So. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it gives you, I guess, a thought process that you need to have for building soil and for building your land. This is the thought process. Bring carbon in, put carbon down, get these guys to put out that good butt fertilizer and your pastures will grow and be awesome. I cannot wait to move my cows over onto this section of pasture right here. The grass is almost waist high. It's gonna be super duper cool. Guys, thanks a lot. Pound that like button, jump in here, subscribe to the channel. I just wanted to share a little tidbit of information with you and talk about a little technology we're using here on the farm. All right, see you next time. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge. Guys, before we go, you can learn a lot about your pastures by kicking over our cow pie. Just kick one over, check this out. Open up the Christmas present. Look at that, big old fatty earthworm. Nice. That's what we want, guys. That's what we're looking for right there. We'll cover that guy back up. A myriad of cow pies out here. Awesome.